माइंड ब्लोन ऑर्डर्ड फूड फ्रॉम ओ एन डी सी वाया पेटीएम सेम रेस्टोरेंट सेम डिश बिल इज ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट चीपर दैन जोमैटो दिस वॉज ट्वीटेड बाई नितिन अगरवाल द सी ई ओ ऑफ टॉरस ओरो ए एम सी अगरवाल्स रिएक्शन इज इंट यूनिक फूड एग्रीगेटर प्लेटफॉर्म्स स्विगी एंड जोमैटो आर फेसिंग स्टिफ कॉम्पिटिशन फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट बैक्ड नॉन प्रॉफिट प्लेटफॉर्म ओपन नेटवर्क फॉर डिजिटल कॉमर्स और ओ एन डी सी विच इज ऑफरिंग यूजर्स चीपर प्राइसिस फॉर द सेम फूड आइटम्स यूजर्स हैव ऑलरेडी टेकन टू सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स टू रिपोर्ट द मैसिव डिफरेंसिस इन प्राइसिस The price difference did not count however for the discount coupons offered by Swiggy on the baseline prices of food items. Applying these discount coupons narrows the gap in prices. But the coupons are not available for all restaurants. The online food delivery space is currently a settled duopoly. Zomato is the top player in the market with a 56% share. while swiggy commands a 44% share this is as of quarter 4 of fy23 according to analysts at hsbc the current market leaders reportedly charge higher commissions of around 20 to 25% commissions on ondc on the other hand are much lower at around 3 to 5% but how is ondc able to provide the same items at almost half the price what's giving this platform the pricing power ondc was put in place by the government to sort of replicate what npci the national payments council of india did with the mobile or the payments ecosystem with the upi so i think fundamentally it's meant to be a disruptor the fact that unlike some of the other players they can actually play around with their margins they have actually set up as a not for profit therefore for a food vendor Uh, he's able to retain a much higher percentage of margin. We all know that food vendors, in a manner of speaking, are held hostage by the big players like Swiggy and Zomato. I think what ONDC is hoping to do is actually go directly to the restaurant and really reduce the margins dramatically. So therefore, consumers get the benefit of that lower pricing, and that's why we are seeing a lot of these, uh, you know, these kind of big differences in price between what a consumer buys off the ONDC platform versus, let's say, what he gets from a private uh, e- uh, e-marketplace. ONDC is in its nascent stages. Swiggy and Zomato offer a larger roster of restaurants to choose from. Moreover, restaurant partners on the network deliver orders using their own delivery fleet, which can be slower than traditional food aggregator platforms. ONDC also lacks any app of its own, and customers looking to order food need to do so using either the Paytm or Magic Pin app. The market leaders Zomato and Swiggy meanwhile have invested extensively in user experience, tech-led innovations and efficiency drivers including timely delivery, customer support, etc. On the other hand, ONDC acts as a direct bridge between consumers and sellers, and it is not limited to just food delivery. It can also be used as an e-commerce channel to compete with Amazon and Flipkart. Through Magic Pin, ONDC is fulfilling more than 10,000 orders a day. The company had joined the network 2 weeks ago, scaling from less than 1,000 orders to the current number. So, will ONDC be able to break the duopoly? So, the positive for the Swiggy, Zomato and the Amazon Flipkart is that the user's experience is seamless they control the entire value chain right from end to end on the positive front for ondc is the fact that therefore they are able to get the best price because the intermediary in a sense is at fault they're disaggregating the system right so it will always be shall we say price advantages however whether they're able to replicate uh, the steep learning that the e-commerce platforms have gathered over the years they've been in business the smoothness of the customer interface the kind of uh, you know background they have to your purchasing patterns to the kind of likes that you have that will take some time the ability to seamlessly and intuitively know what the consumer wants i think that advantage stays with the private e-commerce players the pricing advantage the freedom of choice stays with ondc experts point out that ondc has been designed to be a disruptor in the e-commerce and delivery market space 
Zomato and Swiggy therefore will have to evolve rapidly if they are to maintain their dominance on the market. Even as Swiggy recently started charging users a platform fee of 2 rupees regardless of the order size in a bid to generate additional cash corpus and rein in expenses, experts believe that ONDC's lower prices will force the delivery giants to slash their rates as well. Either way, it seems the customers are likely to be the biggest gainers. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.